Hi, I'm Dr. Margarita Moreno Betancourt and I'm a researcher at the Victorian Center for Biostatistics in Melbourne. On behalf of my co-authors from the French Epidemiology Center on Medical Causes of Death, I would like to introduce our paper recently published in Epidemiology. In this work, we proposed a statistical model that reflects that death may be caused by several diseases acting together by using all the data mentioned on the death certificate. Indeed, most mortality indicators and epidemiologic studies assume that death is caused by the so-called underlying cause of death, which is defined according to rules established by WHO, and the remaining diseases mentioned on the death certificate are most often ignored. Not only are these data being discarded, but the assumption that death is caused by exactly one disease is questionable, especially in this day and age where people live longer and often accumulate diseases over time that cause a decline in their health and shorten their life expectancy. Our model extends the competing risk survival model by viewing mortality as the result of a mixture of disease processes and assigning a weight to each disease mentioned on the certificate. The model can be used to calculate standardized mortality rates by disease and also to perform Cox regression. We illustrated these methods in a simulation study and also in a cohort study of socioeconomic inequalities in mortality. The main limitation of our method is that it represents only an approximation to the causal mechanism which led to death. Another limitation is that although we proposed various strategies to assign the weight, based, for instance, on the position of each disease on the death certificate or the number of other diseases mentioned, assigning this weight and their value remains subjective. In the future, rules defining the contribution of each disease to death could be the object of an international consensus, as is the case for the underlying costs today. To conclude, we proposed a method to perform survival analysis with multiple cause of death data which may be of particular value to the study of diseases that are currently systematically ignored by rules determining the underlying cause of death. Thanks for watching.